or we're going to carry on with uh, chapter number six. This will be part two of ch uh, video number uh, eight, I think it is, talking about what's the difference between passing information by value or by reference. So we, we finished off the last video by explaining that if we declare an integer, it's putting the value actually in the stack of the memory and can be changed directly right here. But when we're passing by reference, we're actually passing the reference of where the information can be found out on the heap. Very different um, way that it's handled. So reference types are stored out on the heap compared to value types that are stored in the stack. So if it's referenced, um, you know, or not uh, connected, meaning that this variable is then out of scope, then this gets um, this reference right here gets deleted, but this out on the heap gets it, it stays there. So there's a system in, in Visual Studio called the garbage collection that goes through and cleans the heap. And we're not really going to get into how the garbage collection works. It's a service done by Visual Studio. And it's beyond the scope really of this this class. So you know what's the difference between value and reference in the way the parameters that arguments can be passed to parameters either by value or by reference. Depending on the type they are, they are usually passed by value or reference, but we can actually force them into being passed by a reference if we want to. So pass by reference enables these methods to change the values in the calling environment which is kind of the, the key there. And passing by value will not change the value in the calling environment. So when we pass by value, will not change the value because it's just, it's more like it's set and it's in the stack. It's not going to be changed in that calling environment. It's, it's permanent and it can't be changed. So that has a huge impact when you're writing code and you're wanting to make a change to know whether you're going to pass by value or by reference. In this example here, we declared a simple ARG as a, a variable integer, called it 4, and then we ran a method here called square the value for 4. So then we're going to pass that down into our program right here called square the value. And we pass our int, which is int, which is fine, and we didn't specify, so it's going to be passed by value by default because we never specified how we're going to pass it. So it's going to be passed by value. And when we pass it by value, it basically takes that 4 and takes the 4, multiplies by 4, and then it signs the val equal to 16, right? And you think it's going to pass 16 back, but the problem was we, did, we, didn't, we didn't pass this original argument by reference. We passed it by value. So the value always stays the same. It, the, Passing the value will not change the value in the calling environment. This is the calling environment right here. It will not change. On the other hand, though, if we did the same program, but this time we used the word ref, and we said let's basically run the identical program. This time we'll pass by reference. When that 4 gets passed from here down into the here and then gets passed to 4 times 4 is 16, because we pass by reference, we're actually referencing where it stayed in the stack. So when we go back to the calling, the output on the right line, um, or if we were going to output it, would actually be 16. So huge difference. It's very subtle, but when we're passing an argument, it's very important to think through when we're passing it, if we made a change to that value and we want to return that value, we must pass it using reference not value, because we cannot change the value from the calling program as it states here.